Hey guys, so you're interested in checking out maybe a little bit about this uh, Formula Club Sport wheel? I'm going to get into that because I started out today thinking, oh, it might be an enjoyable day, but no, here we go. Come up to the window, open it up, and bam. It's too sunny. Let's just do a review. Welcome back. We're going to do a review of the Fanatec Club Sport Formula Carbon Wheel. I tried to do this yesterday and I kind of took a little blood on the chin here, so I will show you about that later, but let's get into the review real quick. So I'm doing a review on this lovely piece of equipment, the Fanatec Club Sport Formula Carbon Wheel. And I've had it for two years, so it might be a little relevant, but you know, there's still people out there that are gonna be looking to buy this. So I wanna give them my opinions and kind of show, you know, the quirks and what's good about this wheel. Now, a disclaimer is like, I'm not a pro or anything. I'm just a hobby enthusiast. I love using this, I use it a lot. Um, I've used it quite a bit over the two years. I don't play it every single day, but like, I'd say I spend like, three to four hours a week using it. And over the past two years, that does add up to something at least. Um, I mainly just do iRacing and Formula One. Um, sometimes do a little set of course and project cars, but for the most part, it's gonna be iRacing and then Formula One. All right, let's go get into some specs. So you can find this Club Sport for around $300. Um, it's a little bit cheaper now due to the fact that it's not being produced anymore. It comes in around 4 pounds or 1.8 kilograms. So the first thing I like to go into is the durability. I mean, if you can see, it looks pretty much brand new still. Everything works, there's no pins broken or anything. And I think that's a great factor of this. Considering it is Alcantara, you would think it would start to wear down. Now, a big thing that you need if you're gonna wear have an Alcantara wheel is gloves, because the oil on your hands is gonna slowly wear down the Alcantara and just break it down a lot quicker than it normally would. And two years, it's looking great. As you can see, these are the gloves I wear, the Fanatic gaming gloves, something like that. They, they work just fine. And it has this cool quick release, so you can take it on and off your wheel. Now, this is the problem that did screw up my chin, as you can tell. Uh, I was going to pull this off and it tends to get stuck if you don't leave it. And I was trying to rip it out with both hands and just drilled it straight into my chin. Now the paddles are clicky, like a magnetic, almost like tactile feed feedback. I really like that. Feels much better than like a G29 or some something you're gonna get from a box store. Like this is this is a quality product. So the new versions still have the screen and these indicator lights, but. The screen is a little bit smaller, but it is more detailed. So you, you get some and you lose some. I kind of like this screen because it just shows my gear indicator. That's really all I need. I don't need all the fancy things going on at the top. Another cool feature, carbon. It's all made out, well, the front is made out of carbon. This is all metal and different plastics, plastic, metal, paddle shifters are metal. Um, it's just kind of a party feature, I guess. It's cool to show people, but I'm sure the face is real, but it's just not making it light or anything. Not that it needs it, I think it's just fine. The the buttons on this wheel, they're tactile, they're not membrane buttons, so you do get a nice feedback on all of them. Now the new ones do have a bunch of knobs and stuff for adjustability, which would be helpful. Now a big pro for most racers, and like I said, I'm not much of a racer, but um, it's very rigid. So like those cheaper wheels, you're gonna be able to flex them and whatnot, and I, I really can't move this at all. There's no creaking or anything like that. Like it's just, it's well built. It feels good. You're gonna feel all the variations in the road when you're driving. Now a quick demonstration of how the quick release works is you go behind, you pull on it, and you pull it out like this. I honestly don't have too much to complain about about this club sport. Um, one thing I guess would be the, the knobs would be cool to have, but not necessary considering I'm not like a professional or anything like that. Um, I have one knob that twists, this one here on the right. Um, this is like a joystick and these are other buttons, but for DRS, I just use a button on the left here. And that's about it. I don't I don't need a whole lot. I can scroll through everything as I'm driving with this. Um, I don't have to worry about it. So for some people, if you really want the knobs and that realism, then you should probably go for it. I guess another thing that would be awesome is it's about $200 or it was at the time. 
and that can be expensive but honestly for what you get i think i think you get your money's worth something i briefly need to speak on is um this is a carbon face but the metal it's a metal frame on the inside and then the outside is a very durable um plastic covering alcantara grips with a metal quick release and metal paddle shifters. So that's my quick review of the Formula Carbon Wheel. I really recommend it. It works well for me, does all the job I needed to do, and it gives me that experience that I wanna have. So I can't recommend it enough. I'll see you guys in the next quick review, and peace. Fingers down